The FDA is set to vote on the use of gene editing technology known as Exacel to potentially cure sickle cell disease. The painful genetic blood disorder impacts hundreds of thousands of black and brown Americans. If approved, the process would be a milestone for treating this genetic disorder. So joining me now to discuss this is Dr. Abayo Curry Winchell. She is a physician and the medical director at St. Mary's Urgent Care Group. Thank you so much for joining us. This is mind blowing to me because, you know, my concept of sickle cell is that it is a guarantee of a shortened life. And, uh, you know, I have a sickle cell trait. My mother has a sickle cell trait. Trait doesn't mean you have it, but it's one of those things that's always in the back of your head. Um, so now scientists have been testing this CRISPR gene editing technology for a few years now, and it looks incredibly promising. Um, can you quickly explain how it works? So this is a wonderful development. What it does is it really goes after what the core piece of sickle cell, which is a genetic disorder. And that genetic disorder actually causes that misshapen or crescent shape that we hear about for sickle cell. So this development allows that a modification to the DNA. Um, so we no longer have this misshapen of red blood cells, which causes all the problems that we know are associated with sickle cell. A CRISPR is so fascinating to me. If you want to, you can go online and just order a CRISPR kit and get it in like three weeks. I could order one. I wouldn't know what to do with it. I certainly couldn't cure a disease, but it's so accessible um, and there's so much potential. Um, the FDA is considering this technology, but, but what are the uncertainties about it that we know so far? So what we do know is that the study was quite small. So we had a small study sample, as well as the confirm confirmatory test, which is the test to make sure that this uh, disease is actually no longer present, was small. But what we do know, which is really promising, is the fact that 39 out of 40 patients in this trial actually did, no longer had sickle cell symptoms. And that's mm. huge when we talk about all of the pieces that really are debilitating and associated with this disease. So, you know, sickle cell, uh, it affects black Americans. Um, and often when a disease impacts a minority community, it doesn't get the funding, it doesn't get the attention that a lot of other diseases uh, get. So treatment options have been very limited. What makes this disease so challenging? So when you look at it, the fact that it causes this misshape of red blood cells that causes what we call a sickle cell crisis. And we know, as you mentioned, it affects those that are African-American primarily. Well, when you look at the historical concept of those that race and that population really getting dismissed when it comes to pain and when it is associated with sickle cell, that is a huge challenge because these patients are having sickle cell crises every month, every couple of weeks as well as damage to their organs. And the other piece that we mentioned is the life expectancy is only at 45 years of age. So when you couple the fact that race, as well as the impact of a shortened lifespan, this disease really affects the black and brown population. And this is a great development in hopes that we can provide the care that is needed. Really quickly, if the FDA approves this, what's the timeline like? So if they approve this, we can look at possibly in the next couple of years, the start of really being able to have more patients get the develop or the, the improvements from this um, new development. So my hope is that as they approve it, that we'll watch a like a 15 year kind of study mm -hmm. and then we can start to help that population. Uh, well, yeah, it's great news. Dr. Bio Curry Winchell, I hope it does get approved and it gets to move forward. Thank you. Thank you.